Hello everybody. Welcome to episode one, season two. Nice like that video cookery. Glad you could join us. Thanksgiving day here in Central Virginia. Couldn't think of anything better to fix on Thanksgiving day than some deer meat. You may or may not have been wondering why I'm garbed up as I am. Uh, got the blaze orange on. Got the side arm on. Can't hold with it, but I reckon I could probably protect the perimeter in Miss Sass's uh, absence adequately with this old piece. Uh, being Thanksgiving Day, her usual Thanksgiving Day thing is uh, she's not worried about eating supper with anybody, us, anybody else. She's uh, She wants to be with her hunt club and she wants to hunt deer behind the dogs. She's been out there since early this morning and I haven't heard from her. I'm assuming she's done quite well. Uh, what I am fixing today is a deer biscuit. Now, some other part of the world, in this part of the world, uh, we have a, a very well-known food item known as a ham biscuit. Now, ham biscuit can be anything from a hockey puck size to actual oven-baked, homemade, scratch-built biscuit with a big old thick slice of ham on it to a little tiny Parker House roll with some really thin, two or three thin shaved pieces, some really salty, good cured country ham on there, and the whole thing in between, ham biscuit. Doesn't have to be a biscuit. Does have to be ham. Now I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna improve on it. I'm making deer biscuit. I bought some standard white cross rolls, dinner rolls. Slice those in half. We'll toast them. I've already got what I need in there to make up some uh, sauce for these deer biscuits. Uh, a spread, if you will. Very simple to make. I'm gonna give you the ingredients for it. We're gonna fast cook. We're gonna sear. We're gonna grill. We're not cooking real long because they're only about that thick. Got that bugger around. That slice back on. We're we'll gonna grill them quick. We're we'll toast that bread. We're we'll gonna slap them on some bread with some of that sauce on them. Good to go. I'm gonna give you the recipe for the marinade. I'm gonna give you the recipe for the uh, deer biscuit sauce. So you have those working for you. I'm gonna take a minute to thank everybody for the continued support. I know we've been gone a while. We've taken a little break. We're back now full force. I got old Dieter Weber over here just chugging along, trying to get this bag of instant light, cheap ass charcoal I bought going so I can slap my wood on there and get a real fire. But uh, we've got some things coming up this season, season two. Nice like that video cooker. Got some things coming up we wanted to do before, didn't quite get them done. Uh, RB's uh, famous smokehouse chili, being one of them. Got sandwich show we're gonna do. Some of my favorite sandwiches, I hope probably some of yours will go by viewer mail and we'll do some of their favorite sandwiches, but it's going to be a sandwich show. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do uh, what was promised last season, never got done. We're going to go do the trailer park pizza. You ready to make it right there in your kitchen. You ain't buying it frozen, you ain't calling Papa John's, you getting it together. So let's go on ahead without any further ado. I got the fire stoking. Get this thing burning right. Get you some pictures of what we're doing. Get you some recipes. Thanks again. Back in a minute. We got the fire going, got the coals hot, burnt that bag off of it and went ahead and threw some good uh, red oak on there. It's going to give us a lot of good heat, a lot of good uh, flavor in the meat. We're going to let this burn down a little bit, get good and hot. Slap the meat on there, sear it, cover it. Ain't going to take long because it's not that thick. Uh, let's go on here and get our sauce ready. All right, as you can see, uh, fire's coming along really well. Got my grill good and hot. Got it cleaned off. You know the drill on that. Hot grill, brushed grill equals a clean grill. That's how we do here on nights like that. Getting ready to apply some uh, heavily marinated deer back loin. We'll sear them up, move them off. Smoke them for just a brief minute. Don't want to overcook them. Don't want them tough. People, don't be afraid to eat your deer meat uh, 
medium. The biggest mistake a lot of people make when they cook deer meat is they cook it dry. And uh, you cook, not only do you cook all the flavor out of it, it's tough as freaking shoe leather when you cook it like that. <clears throat> cook it like you'd cook a steak. It's been refrigerated. It's killed anything that might be living in there, so I don't like cooking it. Uh, you, I mean, you could eat it raw, I reckon, if you wanted to. You could eat it rare. You could eat it medium rare. Medium, hint of pink. The way I like it. Tastes better. Probably better for you. Let's get some meat on the grill. All right, we got a flip. Look at the color. Got some really good color on that uh, on that first side. Getting the second side seared. Got it right on the heat. Get a sear. It's gonna lock in a lot of that juice, a lot of that flavor. Man, I'm getting ready to pull them off here in just a second. Put them on the smoking side. Smoke it up. All right, everybody. I got them smoking. They've been seared. I'm on a really hot fire, seared them, seared that juice in. I'm going to smoke them for about five minutes. Should be perfect. I'm going to have a little hint of pink in the middle. Should not be tough. Should not be dry. Should come out how you want your deer meat. You want your deer meat moist, tender. You want your deer meat like you want your beef. You want it to taste good. That's going to taste good. Well, as my grandfather might say, ought not take but a second for that thing to be toasted. So, we're going to keep an eye on them. Yep, the ones out already going to hit that backside right quick. A little bit more on the front. This is going to be good. As I'm often wont to say, this may taste so good, it may very well cause my tongue to slap my brains out. That's a hot fire, peeps. Look at that right there. That's some toast. All right, here we go. Sauce properly applied. Jimmy properly applied. Let's see what we got working here. Freaking good, yo. Cook right, moist. Y'all got to go on somewhere. I'm gonna eat. Makes a big difference when you got a clean lens.